Okay, today I'm going to make my uh, bacon wrapped boneless pork ribs. First thing I usually do is I put about apple cider vinegar on there, just a little bit to get it a little bit tangy. So a couple catfuls, just regular apple cider vinegar. And next I'm going to use Frank's Red hot sauce. I'm just going to dab it up. So just shake some onto what you desire. Then some Lowry seasoned salt. Coat it good. Then some onion powder. Garlic salt. Just shake some on there. Tony Saturay's Creole seasoning. Yep, I'm going to add some spice. Put a little heat on it. Then salt and pepper it. And some pepper. Next we're going to add the bacon. So all we're going to do is take this thick sliced hickory smoked bacon. You can use whatever kind of bacon you want or whatever's on hand. I'm just going to pick it up, start at one end, and just start wrapping it around. I usually try to center it around the middle of the rib because we want bacon all over the ribs. Now if you need to if you want to know where the boneless pork ribs come from, I'm going to leave a link for the Max. They did a butchering of a hog. Kobe did one. And uh, he shows you right where they get the boneless spare ribs out of the hog. So, I'll continue to wrap this up and I will uh, um, set the oven for 400. And I like it when the bacon's nice and crispy, it's nice and ready. Before we do one more step though, after we wrap this with bacon, we're going to sprinkle it with brown sugar. And then when we get ready to, finally, it's to the almost the point where the bacon is crispy like you like it, we're going to use a little bit of Baby Ray's spicy barbecue sauce. And of course, over here, I'm going to make some of my drops macaroni and cheese. I already have a previous video for that so I'll leave you a link for that too if you want that. But since it's out of the oven we'll plate it up. Let me show you what a typical meal around here looks like. This is to give it a little fire, a little sweetness. When we add the barbecue sauce on it does the final job. There you go. Okay, so now that they're cooked, I'm going to take them out and put them in a separate pan, separate them from the grease. You can see the bacon's pretty crispy. Okay, so now I'm going to use some Baby Ray's spicy, sweet spicy. And basically I'm just going to coat them like this. Then I'm going to use my handy little spreader that I use all the time. Just dab it around. Well, you can use as much as you want, but what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the air fryer and roast for about three minutes. And that will uh, glaze it onto the, the ribs so it'll stick. That way you don't have a bunch of messy ribs. Well, not too messy, you know. And there you have it. You roast it or broil it, it after you coat it with barbecue sauce at 450 for three minutes and it puts the glaze on there good and there's the macaroni and cheese enjoy <laughs>